Yep, yep. Ah, felt a little bit wiggly the whole ride. Oh, really? The whole ride? Well, the bike's always a little bit squirmy. <laughs> well, you know, it did make that sound earlier. <laughs> Oops. I guess we got like, what, 14 easy miles back? We gotta go this way then, huh? Or no? Yeah, we gotta go this way. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's something good. Yeah, it just happened. And you were like, you know what would be cool is if I went over there and pop my tire. There we go. He's already way ahead of me because people are messaging me. I'm just trying to take a video.
Jay and I found some axle spikes. How do you think we should do them? To the back or to the sides? Hmm, I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, it's gnarly. <laughs> uh, man, I don't even know where the light bulb is. Maybe he took off with it. Think it was a Swift? Yeah, definitely a Swift guy. This is a Swift guy. He left his lotto ticket. <laughs> All right, this is yeah, this is the very end of where we were when we finished. And then that is the other side of the creek. Oh man, yeah. Let's let's see what's up. I'm going to follow behind you, okay? This is what I wanted to see. This is going to be so cool. F E part Zero. Oh shit, I'm too loud. Take a look. Right, and we're going in the correct direction now. But that's the craziest part. Yeah, I remember that. I'm not holding my phone for that shit. We had to climb that thing like horses. <laughs> okay, all right, putting the phone down. That was awesome. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, that's definitely Yeah, motherfucker. Damn. Well, put it back in the hole. Let's not let any more air leak out. Thank you. 
right there directly directly behind it well. <laughs> leave that for someone else <laughs> the life of this staple continues <laughs> Yeah. And this is where it got crazy. And then we went through all the mountain bike stuff. Uh, and then there's a restroom where we can poop ourselves. That's the way that we went earlier. This is the way for the normal people. This is the way for Cody and his junkie cell. I was like, damn, that was a real gas bike. <laughs> White people, Jesus! I'm Indian and Mexican, so you stole all of my land. <laughs> Nobody tell him he's got a flat tire, okay? Don't tell him, he doesn't know. at home. I'm sorry. You gotta get a can of fix a for me, sucker. Slime. Yeah, I got slime back at the shop. Yeah, I got some slime. The gray stuff. Yarp. Got you. Dun, dun, dun. That's it for the night. Whoa. What an epic ride. That was an amazing journey. I had a great time. We were gone for quite some time. Um, at least a couple of hours. I can't wait to get his bike fixed. We gotta clean up Rama's swing arm so that we can send it out for him. This is RSF with a six inch stretch. I think it's a five inch stretch. So we're looking at a five inch stretch right here. Running off of a my 1020 with the adjustable motor slide. And then, of course, I've got the open caps. That way he can put on anything he wants as far as lighting on the front and the rear. Giving him actual tail lights if he needs them. Uh, he's running off of a 51 millimeter bicycle mount, but we've added an extra 20 millimeters to it so you don't have to buy the stupid aluminum adapter. This will fit 160 millimeter rotor, no problem, right off the gat. You can even use your original brakes and it'll work if you put a, uh, an original front wheel rotor 
onto the rear because if you buy one of these there's a very 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 high likelihood that you're also going to get the rotors and if you get the rotors well you know i got 160 and 190 over here somewhere and uh well you know you just want to run those because they look so good and they're heavy and they're stainless steel and they're real thick they're the right size and they fit those dirt bike brakes that we have so well these are the ones that you want for your rsfs so i make sure that even the, the rear rotor is big enough to fit over here with the offset and everything so i'm, I'm happy with that and it's big enough where it's almost dirt bike size but we don't have wheel diameters that big when we're running 10 inch wheels so that's the best formula i could come up with i'm only going to make a couple more of these and then i'm probably just going to start building our own bikes something like this something like that but a little bit bigger i want to use honda stems so that we can use honda forks and we'll make our own frame we'll make our own swing arms and then we'll use these dirt bike stuffs and maybe some wheels i know there's a b1 bomb moto i appreciate the b1 bomb moto i like jordan davis however that bike is not made in america that bike is made in china and then shipped here Hey man, I'm all for it. It's a great item. But wouldn't it be nice if there was an American made frame here for a small dirt bike that's electric that lets us do what we did tonight? Like that? I want to do that. But the cheapest that it's going to be, man, without batteries and a motor is going to be like two grand. But I mean, it's going to be fully built. All you got to do is put a motor and batteries in it, right? You know, in your own shock or something like that and pick your own body. But I think we can deliver something like this for an affordable rate. I don't know how much to charge. We'll figure it out. But if you're interested, give me a like. And if you can, share it. I want to make bikes. I don't want to work for anybody. I like what I do. Let me work for you. Let me, let me build bikes, man. Let me build more bikes. So tell me what you guys want. I know that the new Socian Motors out. Again, another Jordan Davis thing. That sounds awesome. I would love to be able to use that, but I ain't got the money for it. I got a QS165 here. I got a QS90 here. We got these modified My 1020s that we've been using forever. I love the size of these bikes, but I'd like it to just be a little bit bigger, wouldn't you? Make sure that our feet could come down a little bit further. I'd like to bring the frame a little taller, both sides, and bring it out a little bit. And we can put a little kit in the back, run a 100 amp controller or whatever. These forks are great, but I wouldn't mind going just a little bit taller like the ones I have on the RSF. I know you want food. So we've got some taller forks over here on the RSF, if you'll notice, when you look at these two. And that's kind of what I want to roll with. So we're going to have to make a taller frame, kind of like it is right now. And then, you know, just make it more adult size so that we don't have to worry about falling over or getting leg cramps. I hate leg cramps. And we'll build it up. I'm going to take off those 10s, put on 12s, and make it a bigger bike. Anyways, the adrenaline's kicking down. I need to eat. It's been a heck of an adventure. Please let me know what you guys think, man. I want to build more bikes. Let me know. Let me know.